Hello everyone. Today again I am going to start the rest of the part of the last exercise. Only one exercise. I think yes. First of all, uh, let me know that uh, I think all of you are quite nice, well, and healthy. And uh, all of you have done that particular previous lessons, exercise, square square roots, everything's nicely. I think so, comfortably. If you have not done, still time is there. Just take a glance, take a revision, particularly finding the square roots by long divisions method. <clears throat> Afterwards, you will not get the time. Today, I am going to start the last exercise. Of this particular segments square square roots the last exercise is exercise 3g from your book and here 3g from your book the lessons is quite simple no new things no new explanations no new formulas will required here only some problems I'm going to solve so from this exercise few questions I have already been selected and one by one I am going to solve that particular question. First of all, yes, this particular question is not only from the exercise 3G but I have taken one or two questions from your examples also. By the way, without wasting time, let me start. First of all, the first question is square root of square root of 45 into square root of 20. So multiplication sign is there in between. So in that case, what we will have to do, this one will be equal to 45 into 20. This square root signs, I'm going to keep together under the same roof. And this one will be equal to 45 into 22 is 90, followed by one more zero. And you know very well the square root of 900 is 30. And that will be our it's quite simple, isn't it? Now the next question is square root of it is question number two from your exercise rather you can say and this is exercise uh, question number three square root of 121 by 256 What you have to do, yes, here I have actually put together because multiplication sign is there. Here also division sign is there. So I am going to keep the things the reverse one separately. <coughs> and square root of 121, you know very well it is 11. And square root of 256 is Sixteen. If you are not knowing what is the value of square root of 256 or square root of 121, in that case one more method is there for finding the square roots by long division method or by prime factorization method. By using that you can find the value of these particular things. Now the next question. Next question is one mixed fractions I am going to consider it is from your book question number 6 from exercise 3G 4 73 by 324 324 square root sign is there obviously so this mixed fractions you will have to change into the verbal fractions what you have to do for that you have to multiply these two and plus 73 that is elaborately I am going to tell you that 4 into 324 it is coming as 1296 plus 73 am I right by 324 now take the sum of these two it is coming as 1369 square root of 1369 by 324 now put this particular square root sign separately with each numerators and denominators which will be equal to under root of 1369 by square root of 324 
Now we'll have to find the square root of 1369. Obviously, this is a little bit big number. So let me try this one for finding the square root of 1369 by long divisions method. I think explanation is not required. Very rapidly you can do it. 4 4 the 16 is big. So 3 3 is a 9. 9 10 11 12 13 4 6 9. Then 3 plus 3 is 6. For this result place 9 has been omitted. Now divide this 46 by 6. 6 7 is a 47. So with 7 take the test with 7. 67 into 7. 7 7 is a 49 carries 4. 6 7 is a 42. 42 plus 4 46 which is coming 469. That is 7. 7. So you can say that the square root of 1369 is nothing but this 37. Like that way you can find the square root of 324 by the long divisions method. If you have not remembered that the, I have already been remember that square root of 324 is nothing but 80. Hence this will be the answer. I think it is clear. For this particular lesson, much time will not required. So, only 3-4 questions I am going to solve from here. And this way, I am going to finish now. So, I have selected one more question. That one will be based on the first question. That is, the question number 10. From your book, it is question number 10. Square root of 98 into square root of 162. Square root of 162. What we have to do? This one will be equal to, now put these two things together, that is 98 into 162. Now 98 is nothing but 2 into I think 49, 49 2 is 98. Similarly 162 is nothing but 2 into 81. And this one will be equal to under root of 2 square that is 2 into 2, 2 square and 49. What is the value of 49? It is 7 square. And 81 you can write as 9 square. Now square square root will remove. This one will be equal to 2 into 7 into 9. And now multiply 14 into 9. And 14 nines are I am getting as 126. Yes 126. And that will be our answer. So this way I have finished this particular exercise and rest of the questions obviously the next exercise it is the revision exercise that one is giving in exercise 3H go through that particular questions and if you have any doubt you may ask the doubt in the school websites or on my um, whatsapp number I have given you my WhatsApp number again. I am going to write my WhatsApp number here 9835115404. Now, few things I am going to ask you that many students already requested me, sir, such and such exercises from square square root lessons. I having I am having some doubts. Please share the old videos. Old videos always will be there and one more suggestions I am having because I don't know that we don't know that how long this particular type of classes will go whenever you are going to go through my videos in YouTube you just note down the link of the YouTube somewhere on your diary and take the revisions time to time fine now my this square square root officially been covered up if you have any doubt, you may clear the doubt on my WhatsApp number or on the school websites. Right? Yes. Now, this square square root been finished and next class, your Sangeeta ma'am will take your classes and that particular chapter, what she will going to select, what I know is nothing but cube and cube root.
then afterward again i will come back with another new lessons that one is commercial mathematics till then just go through these particular lessons okay bye